Hello, one and all, I'm Pally Games, and welcome back to Cross of a Dutchman. This is, of course, the Chronicles of our Cabbage Crusader, and today it seems like he's going on a bit of a mission to save the church, it would seem. Um, I don't know quite where dialogue-wise I left off. It might be that I uh, went through all this bit, I'm not quite sure. But either way, I'll just throw... I'll just glaze over it a bit. Basically, I need to go help out uh, yet another uh, place in need. I'm looking forward to it. Can I uh, get any more gold off this stuff? No. So, uh, it doesn't respawn the gold. So, I'm, I'm in need of getting some more gold. I have, however, um... I think managed to get all the golden chests I missed from the earlier bits, I'm not quite sure. I've decided that um, probably the half an hour format might not be working as well as I want it to. Uh, doing slightly longer pieces are. Uh, this part should only be chapter 4, I believe. It depends how long chapter 4 is, I mean if it's super short I will just make it uh, chapter 4 and 5. But we'll see. So we've got all the uh, things in this area. There is Three we are missing, so we've got to keep a lookout for any uh, potential chests. What um, we have missed out on from chapter two, I assume. I, I, I just quickly noticed it before I started um, gameplay. Before I start this recording, I suppose would be a better way of putting it. Um, the fact that it does actually tell you how many uh, chests you found—I didn't actually see that the first time around. So I'm, I'm like proper going to be like super chief focused. As well as that, but it actually mechanically it's going to help me out because obviously it will mean I can buy a load of upgrades. So that's probably what I'm going to do. Let's try and find these chests though. Not quite sure why I should be looking, but I'll keep an eye out. I don't know who I'm talking to. I suppose I've got to go this way. I'm going to just go with that assumption, I think. I know we had a big scuffle up here. Okay, so it's definitely not... So that will probably lead us to a different area, so we probably want to avoid that. But this doesn't help out either. Oh, wow. So apparently uh, the lake is full of fish. So maybe we do have to go up here to go round? I don't know. I'm going to assume that that's the logic of the game. Maybe though, I'm totally wrong in that assumption though. So, we'll see. What's this say? Apparently there's zero of seven, so this is probably a new area altogether. It's not nice seeing like just some hanged man out of nowhere. But we are on the hunt for gold, so we're good to get a load. Oh wow! Another uh, broken boat coming across the view of them. There's nothing down here though in terms of uh, chests. It's a bit of a shame. Our good friend Pierre here hasn't come across any new cabbages to uh, save along his journey. It's a bit of a shame for him. However, today we're on the hunt for chests. He is a uh, chest chaser today. That's what his uh, job is. He is chest chasing. As that is my like, uh, that's my like new addiction to chests. He, 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 like, Pierre's like totally done with cabbages for the moment. He's like, he's putting them on the back burner and he's turning his attention towards the chests because he's realised, you know, he's, if he's going to want to be the strongest, like, farmer in the land, he's obviously going to need to get his uh, upgrades from the uh, sales peeps. How that actually works, you know, it's game logic. I don't know how, you know, they'd actually tie in the story-based reason for it. But, 
That is just the uh, way of things. I don't know if I'm going back on myself. I hope not. Well, I obviously I'm not at the minute because I'm finding more chests. And it could turn out we're not even supposed to go to this area yet. But that is the joy of wandering, I suppose. If we do end up coming back to this area, at least I know I've, I've like completed the uh, necessary um, chest finding beforehand. How many are we up to? Four. So we are doing a really good job here then, really. There's our fifth. Should be there in no time. I think we have gone to this part though, I think. Have we talked to that person? No. It's a shame. Can go up here though, so it might be some more, uh... Ah, yeah, there's one. It would be funny if I've just randomly just gone in a totally different direction to where I was supposed to go. I don't know, how funny do you guys think it would be? Maybe you find the antics to be a little tiresome, I don't know. He's like running for the hills, he's scared. And here is our last one, cool. That went quite well actually. That brings up to 913 gold. You see, there's a cheve for getting a thousand gold accumulatively. So, uh, that's what I'm holding off for, and then I'm going to have a big, like, upgrade spree. Some of you guys might not be into the whole upgrade, uh, achievement scene, but, um, I thought, you know, might as well. I think I've gone a totally, like, opposite way to go, uh, where I want to be going. But that's okay, because I can take a turn here, I think. I'll be okay. I'll be back on track. I assume. So, what happens if we keep going this way? Is there an exit anywhere? Like, cause that's what we originally came this way for. Because, like, that was, um... There was that drawbridge, what was like... It was raised upward, so we couldn't get across. So we got to, um, I assumed we had to, like, go round. But maybe I was totally wrong. Well, this drawbridge is, uh, across. So who knows? So we're in the village of a room. Um, maybe I should go back. Maybe I should go back. Maybe that's a good idea. Who knows? The way I see it is, we took a bit of a detour, and it's turned into a major one. I mean, do we just keep chilling around here and finding stuff? I mean, maybe. Maybe that's the way to go about it. So maybe we do go, oh, just go with the flow. But equally, we might end up coming back here, so maybe not. I'm going back because I feel it's probably the smart thing to do. I mean, hopefully this is like the next place we come to, so I can just like, say, ha, we've like, we've just, you know, we've done the work ahead of time. But you know, we've just got a whole cluster of gold here. In fact, we're 15 away from a thousand, so if we just quickly get a few pieces more gold, when I walk back into town, I can just go on a gold light spree. I think I hit all these, yeah, these were hit. Up here we can't... Oh wait, can we go across here? No. Okay. He hasn't, like, figured out how to, uh, do that. That's a shame. Did we hit that one? Yes. Okay, so I know he hit across here, so we just need to go a bit further. Oh wow, Cratonator. So I assume that's... Uh, I assume that is for destroying crates. I have no idea quite. I just happened to uh, look, have a quick like look at them, see if it was like a doable list, and I saw that there was one for a thousand gold. So I thought, you know, I'll quickly get that out of the way, and then you know, I think everything else comes with time. I think there's nothing like out of the ordinary or anything. So up to nine ninety now. Yeah. 
So the cheese should pop up at some point. Who knows? I may have to finish with chapter first, I don't know. Oh wow, she's like selling mead. She's peddling mead. Don't get any ideas, Pierre. We're, we've got a job to do, you know? We can't just be like drinking our cares away today. We have got stuff to be doing. It turns out this village is quite expansive. A lot more so than I probably would have wanted it to be. I am digging the uh, tune though, it's quite nice. But yeah, Mr. Crate Crusher himself over here. He's like been working out. I'll tell you mate, it's, it's all of them um, cabbages he's been like eating. It just does wonders for you. We're up to four of seven, okay. Things are going well. This might be a bit boring for you lot who are watching, if any. <laughs> You've all like tuned out. You've had enough. Which is entirely possible. Did we come down here? Yes. Okay. Uh, just, did we go all the way down though? I'm not sure if this is the way we came from. Uh, yes, yes, we did. Uh, did we? I can never tell. Yeah, we did. So we just have to go up a, a bit further up then. I imagine there won't be any more areas to visit past this bit. Like, it won't, like, draw over to another part. And if it does, you know, I just won't, like, go to the next bit. We've been to more than enough, I believe. That's five. Two to go. That bit's a bit blocked off. It's unlikely that there's a chest there. Can we go across there? Not really. Can we go around at all? Got to be able to. No? Maybe not. Okay. I think that's all we can do. I think. We can't go back that way. I mean, it may be we have to come back at some point, and that's fine. Unless, can we do anything? Ah! Thought you had me again. You haven't. There's one. And if we can go further up this way, probably where the other one will be. Maybe. Nothing up here at all, okay. But we are up to six, okay. That's fine. I'm not quite sure where we should uh, venture off to from this part. Find it for sure. I think I'll just skip from here to when I find them. So, we are back. Trying to get things done. And basically what happened last time is I just went in the opposite direction of where I needed to be completely. So, you know, that was smart, wasn't it? So, luckily for us, now we know that actually where we started off, I think, is where we need to be. We just need to talk to this guy. What's the uh, blue arrows for? Oh, it's just people who are here. Okay. So, we'll talk to this guy now, and he's going to hopefully uh, join our fight, our plight, to uh, 
you never you never find that when someone starts off with a compliment, things are going to go well for you. And I think Wilk realizes that this is going to go badly for him. So basically, I think he's going with the idea that you know, an enemy of your uh, a friend of your enemies is your friend. That one. That's what he's going for. So now we've got to go see John. John's going to hopefully get on board. We're going to have a whole like army help us out. It would seem. Cause apparently, that's what we need to take on the uh, Saxons. I love that it's taken me this long to realise who I am even called. Pretty, uh, pretty, um, bad of me, I suppose. So basically, we've got a whole old gang of. Well, this is our bearded old gang. I don't think. I think we need to find a catchy name for them. Uh, the Crimswood cast offs, the Crimswood. Uh, apparently this area is far late, but you know, that's fine. Do we go down here at all? But maybe there's one down here. Maybe it's worth having a check. It's a quick sweep. Sorry guys, uh, I know I've taken you to uh, help me out, but um, I just need to uh, have a little look see around. Hope you guys don't mind. I don't think they mind. Do you reckon they mind? Nah. It's totally fine. And we have found one. See guys? It's what you do. You go looking for treasure and you find some. We'll have all the upgrades at this rate. Can't wait. So being at 6 of 8 is pretty cool. We're having a right old recruit going on there. Is this like another boat we can interact with? No. Just these guys won't talk to me all the time. Just can't leave me alone. So we've already hit up that one. So if we go back on the, the, uh, the uh, path we need to follow. Uh, not too far away really. It's pretty close. Where has it uh, led us to now? My question. Oh, wowzers. He knows someone and he wants us all to know about it. Well, we did go this way, mate. I mean, I think this guy's forgot why we're even here. Hey, up. Oh. It's wired. I wonder if he's wired. I don't think he liked our little joke there. I think we're, it, we've engaged in fisticuffs now. Yeah, fisticuffs is going to happen. Just what we wanted. Whoa, I hope he's not calling us old man, because I mean... I think you'll find we're looking pretty youthful. Whoa! Yeah, Pierre, you tell him. Better watch himself. Gonna have him if he's not careful. I mean, so much for a short episode, though. It tends, this is going to end up being a long one, I can already tell. You just, you just can feel it sometimes that things are not going to go as you plan. Yeah. Oh no. No. Things did not go well. Yeah! Just needed a few specials to uh, show how it's done. 
So we're equally matched. But we're obviously not equally matched because we are the head honcho of this land. So hopefully we can dispatch with the uh, pleasantries and just get to kicking ass because uh, I mean I've took you out wired but I mean it was pretty easy so you know I could do some uh, uh, just a whole ton of Saxons to take out if you uh, wouldn't mind just like leave me alone that'd be great. So now we've got to go to the like main attraction as you were. We'll uh, go down here first because we some barrels and might have some cash in. No cash to be had. But that's okay. This is my with no cash. Here he is. Yes, old man. I want you on our team. The Kimswood cast offs. Apparently he's reckoned he's like the best archer in the land at the, at the, uh, at the sounds of it. He's like really, you know, tooting his own horn. He just can't help himself. So we've got him on board. Got to go down here now. And uh, be able to find yet another person in our squad. I mean, we've already got four. I mean, basically we're trying to amass... Every old person in the land to help out Pierre. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I, I called it a load of misfit. I didn't use that word exactly right, but yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. I'm glad you agree. That's quite a nice joke there, wide about farmers, but I think Pierre will just take uh, offence to that one because he is actually the uh, best cabbage farmer in the land. So we're now going to the uh, to Peter at the church. You can only imagine if he like decides to join our noble idea, our, our, our fight for justice. So this is like a new area. I mean, you just can't believe it, really, can you? When things like this occur. And there is our first treasure chest. Oh yeah. So already things are looking up. Things are looking up. It's a bit uh, funny that we've managed. I've managed to go out of order for all the chests. But basically, there's a few areas I've kind of gone to ahead of time without realising it. I've, I've decided to cut out footage, to be honest, at this point. Just, you know, I'm like in the middle of a recording and I'm thinking so well, I'm not going to put that in, actually. It was actually quite annoying to put in, to have, to begin with. And it's going to make this like a super long episode of Wise and that, I don't want that. And you guys probably won't be too interested in collectibles, to be honest. Even though it means that, you know, later in this, like the next episode, I'll probably go to the uh, shop and just buy every upgrade in the goddamn land, to be honest. I mean, we're, we've got so much gold. Apparently we've got that one. We're already up to three, so we're doing well, actually. So, where do we have to go? Back here, maybe? I mean, it might be that we've actually got everything from that area, so we can just go back on ourselves now. I mean, that's where we have to go to talk to people. There's some sort of, like, brewery, like, potion-like cellar we can go get uh, some stuff from. That sounds like my plan. My kind of jam potions all day long. Oh no, there is a fight to be had down here. I don't know if we're quite ready for that fight, to be honest. That's better. It just needs a gentle nudge, just to be, uh, 
aware that, you know, that's what's gonna happen. Do we need health potions, really? I don't think we do. I think we're fine. I'm not gonna go get a load of, like, consumables. We don't need them. We're, we're for, like, noobs, novices. We're definitely not a novice or a noob. We are, like, pros to the pro. Just, just a one-man wrecking crew. Well, even though we have actually got an old, like, gang of wily veterans who are going to, like, help us out. But, regardless of that, better go check down here in case they're hiding a chest in the graveyard. You never know. Game logic. Go on then, try to talk. Let, tell me all about it. Oh, that, that is actually quite awkward, isn't it? Does that mean we've got to, like, decide? Or will we just be like, yeah, it's going to be like, I am, I do not need one. Oh, we're having a scout, are we? Oh, we've got to go to the shop. We've got to go back. Oh, no. Off, off we go. Is it? Oh, it's an upgrade, is it? If it's an upgrade, I mean, that's a totally different story, rather than a temporary buff. We'll just get everything. If there's one thing we're missing is help. We need more help. Go on, lady. We want it all. You do, dear Pierre. I'm glad to hear it. Can we have that one as well? Because that would be quite good. Yeah! Can we not have stamina as well? That's a shame. suppose it won't let us. We've got to wait to be told when we can buy something. We're, not, we're, not being, we're not being treated like children. It's ridiculous. Off we go. I don't know why two of them followed me and two didn't. I mean, I don't need an escort. Shocking. Oh, a wanted, I think. Wow. He's got them all in matching outfits. We're not like a... We, we, didn't, we didn't really need to go to that length, really. But here we go. Apparently we're on a time limit here as well. Take everyone out. Come on then. Let's, let's do it. Off we go. It's all going down. So we need to go up here. There's like a whole gang of them. There's a load down and out. There's a chest there we can get uh, later on. Where's it? Boom. It's all them out of the way. Even though we're on a time limit, I don't care. I'm getting a chest. That does come back to fight me, you know. So be it. Yeah! It's another load down. Oh, look, cheese are plenty. We need to go back up. Boom. We've done it. He's viewing. I'm viewing. We're all viewing. I 
And the game's having a stutter, I reckon, as well. I will buy a special attack now. Just too much excitement, I don't know if I'm ready for it all. I think we should go back and get that uh, chest though. Probably a good idea. Then again, he is quite close, so I can get a special attack now, I suppose. It wouldn't hurt. There he is. Go on in. What? Oh, no. That's the last thing we need. Take him out. Yeah. We're doing quite a good job here, even though it's like kind of like all over the place and we can't like keep up, we managed to do it. And now Wide is like being all congratulatory about it. Right, what are we having? We can have a spin punch. Sounds like straight what I want. And let's get a door kick, because you know, you can always have a door kick. Apparently we're not allowed anything else though. Such a shame. Let's get the gold we just got for trash in the place. I don't know how much gold we got, but we got a lot. So back up here we go. We'll see if we can get anything. See, we can get some now. So that's it, we've got everything now. Got all these upgrades. So now we're like proper, like super strong. Over looks. What's uh, Peter going to say to us? Oh wow, there's a weapon to be had. We have done it. Chapter 4 has been completed. So I think that's a great place to end it. I think we just want to get out of the chest, don't we? Before we end things. I think we have to go this way to get to it. I don't know. But yes, um, it is probably going to be at least 20 minutes long. I'm not quite sure on the length. Because I've got probably quite a bit of cutting of the uh, episode to do. Quite a bit to take off, I reckon. Because uh, it, it just was not the best of planned episode, I suppose. Where was the um, chest? Was it just here? Yeah. Cool. And that is 7 to 7. Great. So, yes, thank you for watching, everyone. And see you in the next one. Goodbye.